Hi, I'm Teresa Simpson with Mox News. The Big Bang Theory has come to Chattanooga. The other side of Big Bang Theory was a lecture hosted by UCC's Dr. Lin Jun Wang Wednesday, March 7th, where he talked about the controversy surrounding the Big Bang Theory. The lecture covered fundamental problems prevailing the Big Bang Theory cosmology, including the genocentric nature of Hubble law, dark matter, the time and grandfather paradox, the abundance of helium, and many more. A short question and answer was followed. The lecture was free to the public and took place in the University Center. Ever since hip hop was hip hop, it was all about being a star. It was all about being that guy. And it was all about just being, you know, the man whatsoever. I mean, ever since it was started, you know, you had the party scene in New York City. You know, you had the rappers. The rappers were performing. You had the DJs. The rappers would be the MC. They would basically you know, keep the party hype. And you know, they're known on the streets as the person that kept the party live. And then, you know, moving up the timeline of hip hop, you have the B-Boys, it was all about being fresh and fly, it was all about the clothes you were wearing. You know, LL Cool J had the Kango, and Run DMC had the Adidas. You know, it was all about being the man. And then just moving up all the years in hip hop, it was all about the masculinity. It was all about being gangster, and selling drugs, about being hardcore. What the gangster image, what the G-Funk image, what the thug image, he's been running for a while because apparently this is how people look at hip hop. and this was basically what had everybody wanted to listen to the rap because everybody wanted this portrayal of what that life was about. 2004, Kanye West released the College Dropout and it basically just changed the face of hip hop that year because while people were wearing jerseys, Kanye was wearing pink polo sweaters and it wasn't even about appearance, it was about the things he was rapping about. You know, he was rapping about paying rent, he was rapping about being broke dealing with everyday man issues, things that everybody can relate to, everybody that I was listening can relate to, He's dealing with struggles of being a human, you know, things that typical rappers weren't showcasing. So with that, with you know, the college dropout, he kind of set the stone for everyday rappers. He kind of set the stone for rappers like Childish Gambino, Kendrick Lamar, even Drake. These are the people that you know, people find different because of the things that they rap about. They don't rap about being rich, they rap about you know their hard time in high school. They rap about things that people can just instantly relate to based on lyrical content. So with being an everyman, it was just so easy to have to listen to that person because they can listen to the record and coincide with that person because these people were doing the same thing that they were doing. This style of rap or what how people portrayed in the media is what people consider normal guy rap, rap for normal people. It kind of makes sense, because thinking about it, all the rap that we have listened to, you know, rappers rapping about not being normal or regular, and they're just rapping all for their personal glory. And then, you know, you have rappers like Kanye and Childish, and they're actually able to tell their story. They're actually the average Joes that people wouldn't even think of being stars, but they had that kind of impact based on the fact that people could relate to them easily. As for us, the listeners, we find it pretty cool because we see that hip hop itself has changed. It's not about being a big superstar. It's about being the person with the story. And usually the story is something that a lot of us can relate to. And so with that, it's more artistic because now, like I said last week about the DIY approach, most of these rappers aren't even signed to major labels, but with the help of them telling their stories and with the help of them being themselves, I mean, it just goes to show that you, know, you don't have to portray that kind of person that you're not in music. You can just be yourself. You know, it just shows the, the artistic integrity and the creativity in the music you know, that's been gone for a lot of years.